G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is ratios and proportion, okay? And pretty much how we can see whether or not two sets of ratios are in proportion. So, what do I mean by this? Well, consider we have two ratios. Uh, say it was the amount of cordial we were putting in water. And I'll draw the amount of cordial in red. We had three parts cordial for every seven parts of water. I'll put the water in blue there. And then I was comparing this to a different glass of water where this time we had six parts cordial for every 14 parts of water. And so say I wanted to see whether or not these glasses were the same strength, that is they were in proportion to one another, these ratios were equivalent. Now how could I do this? There's a couple of ways I could do this. Now First off, this is a fairly simple example, so I'll go this this nice simple way of doing it. If we have a look at the cordial first off, what's happened is we have three parts in this one and six parts in this one. So what we have is two times as much cordial as we go from one glass to the other. As we have a look at the water, we have seven parts here and fourteen parts here. So seven to fourteen is also a doubling. So these ratios are said to be in proportion. These glasses of cordial would have that same strength. Okay, so you could use this whether or not you're looking at pictures or something like this. Okay, and so what we're going to have a look at in this video is we're going to have a look at how we can simply see whether two sets of ratios are in proportion. That is, are they equivalent? And also how we can easily determine how much of each quantity is required to keep something equivalent, to keep two sets of ratios equivalent. Okay, how to keep them in proportion. So, what about I'll show you first off how we can do all this very simply. And the way we're going to do this is through this method, method of cross multiplication. So, when you're comparing two ratios, I'm going to call them A is to B, and I'm going to call the second ratio C is to D. And if we wanted to see whether these were in proportion, well the first thing we do is we write these as fractions. So I'm going to write this as A over B, and I'm going to write the second ratio as C over D. Now, we're going to pretend are these guys equal. And now what we do is we cross multiply. What I mean by this is we're going to multiply this number by this number, and then I'm going to multiply this one by this one. Okay, And if they are in proportion, what we should end up with is the same result. That is to say, A times D should equal C times B. And this idea we're going to use to work out a whole bunch of things. Okay, So bear with us and I'll show you what I mean by this. So let's consider two ratios here. Okay, So we had a look at two ratios and these are those. We're going to have a look at what about four is to 14 and we're going to have a look at 6 is to 21 and I want to see whether these are in proportion. Okay, so I'm going to write them first off as fractions. 4 over 14 and 6 is to 21 is going to become 6 over 21. And pretty much what we're seeing is are these two fractions equivalent? So let's have a look. We're going to cross multiply like I said, so this one times this one. So 4 times 21 is 84. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this one by this one. 6 times 14 is also 84. And because these guys are equal to one another, these guys are said, these two ratios are said to be in proportion. What about another example here? So that's how you can test to see whether or not two ratios are in proportion. If those two results of the cross multiplication are equal to one another. What about uh, another set? Say I was having a look at 13 is to 15 and I was comparing this to a second ratio of 6 is to 7. So the first thing we do, we write them as fractions. 13 over 15 and we're going to write this one as 6 over 7. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply again. 13 times 7 is 91. Uh, 15 times 6 is 90. 
Now you're going to look, they're pretty close, but there are, they're not the same number at all. So these two ratios are not in proportion. Okay, so that's how you can use cross multiplication to work out whether or not two ratios are in proportion. Um, we can also use this to solve some other types of proportion problems, such as where we want to know how much we need to, uh, say, add in a quantity to keep two ratios in proportion. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you an example of this. So we had uh, we had a recipe, and in this recipe, what it said is we needed one cup of rice and three cups of water. So we have this ratio of uh, rice to water of one is to three. Okay, one part. One cup of rice, three cups of water. And what I wanted to know is, say I had five cups of water, how much rice would I add? How much to keep this in that same ratio? Now, this one here we do not know. I'm going to put it down. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I'm going to put this one down as, okay, x. It's an unknown, all right? And this is how we're going to solve this. A bit of, bit of algebra magic here. So what we do is we first set these up as fractions. 1 is to 3, and this one is x, this unknown number, over 5. You can probably see what we're going to do here. We're going to do this cross multiplication, right? What we're going to do, this number times this number, 1 times 5 is 5. This number is this one by this one. 3 times x is 3x. And remember, we're trying to keep these equivalent. Okay, so what we can now do is we can just solve for x like you uh, do in a bit of a basic algebra. So we divide 3 into both sides. So if we divide this side by 3, we're going to get rid of this. And this one is going to be 5 over 3. Okay, equals x. 5 divided by 3 is 1 with 2 remainder. So we get that as 1 and 2 thirds. So you see how that works? So that's how we can use this. Uh, you just have to set your your question up to be, uh, you know, the, which ratios. But then you just, for the unknowns, put an X, okay? What about another example? What about I go the other rice, another rice example here? What about we, um, we had two cups of rice, and it would serve six people. It's going to be a two to six ratio. And, okay, so we invite, this is rice to people, and we invite 11 people to a particular shindig that we're doing and we want to know how much rice we need to keep to cook okay so this is the unknown here we're going to call this x okay set them up as fractions this is 2 over 6 this is x over 11 okay gonna keep these guys equal let's cross multiply 2 times 11 is 22 okay just go on this one times this one and this is equal to 6 times x, 6x. Six Once again, we're going to divide. You know, we're going to get this x by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 6. This 6x divided by 6, well, it's just x. And 22 divided by 6, so 22 divided by 6 is equal to x. So this is 3 cups, okay, because 22 divided by 6 is 3. 6 threes are 18, with 4 over 6. And we could simplify that further into 3 and 2 thirds. So do you see the way that works? Okay, uh, anyway, hopefully that helps you out. That's a way that we can work out how to keep things in proportion and that sort of deal. Um, anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.